Hi, it's Mayor Walter Senzik, and we have council tonight on the 16th of November. So this is the next edition of the Mayor's Report. And so just want to start today with the Mayor's Report talking about what the provincial framework structure is for dealing with COVID-19. So you've got the colors of green, yellow, orange, red, and then lockdown, which is gray. Uh, we've been in yellow for a number of weeks now. And as we've seen the numbers go up, the province has moved a number of regions in Ontario into what is now orange. So there's additional restrictions that have come into place. And what I encourage you is to go to the public health website, the Niagara Region Public Health website. It has a list of what the new restrictions are. And it's, it's hard, I can go over it right now, but there's, there's a lot of nuances to these restrictions. So I think it's important that you just head over to the Niagara Region website, click on the updates and you'll see what uh, orange means for Niagara. And looking at Hamilton, Toronto, that area, they've gone to red and red is much more restrictive. That means restaurants are closed, gyms are reduced and there's a lot of different things that are happening in those regions. And so what we're seeing across the board is an increase in numbers and those increase in numbers of COVID-19 are a concern because we see that there's an outbreak at long-term care facilities here in Niagara that we have some very localized outbreaks that are taking place. And in addition to that, you're seeing some community transmission that's taking place in the community. All that coming together is driving up our numbers. And so getting to a point where it could overwhelm the healthcare system, that's where we don't wanna go. And that's why as we talk about being in a second wave, we've gotta gain more control over the amount of community transmission that we're seeing in, the, in, in St. Catharines, Niagara. So wanna make sure that you're wearing your mask, wanna make sure that you're keeping your, your social bubble as, as tight as possible. I wanna make sure that you're keeping that physical distancing and really map out your day when you're going out. So it's not about, it's about making sure you're doing things with a, a clear head, understanding where you're going. You gotta clean your hands as well. And you gotta do things with the understanding that it's having an impact on other people around you. So especially talk to your, your kids and the young adults in your family about the importance of why we're all doing this together. We're seeing a lot of increase in the numbers in the 20 to 30 age demographic. That means there's a number of them that are, are heading out into spaces where they're congregating in larger numbers. And that's, that's actually creating that community spread as well. So got to make sure that our younger people are listening to the directives because if we can all do our part for the next number of weeks, we can drive those numbers down from where they are today. Uh, the region uh, public health did bring in some additional measures on restaurants and I think it's very concerning for us as a community and being able to understand what those restrictions are and it's about you know only your household of four people can go out for for any kind of restaurant experience uh, that is putting a lot of pressure on our already stressed restaurant system and we have a lot of entrepreneurs that are in our community actually there's there's over 1200 restaurant or food service organizations, businesses here in Niagara. And that puts a tremendous amount of stress on them. So we've got to get a better understanding of what the, the, the amount of community spread looks like. And we've got to really have a, a very surgical approach as a community because the impact on the health of our community and the impact on the economy of our community are two things that have to at some point come together and have a better understanding. So we've got a lot to work through here, uh, but to our restaurant industry, I want you to know that we support you. I support you as mayor, our council supports you. We had a motion uh, bringing forward more about enforcement, not more regulations. That's the position that we have here in the Saint Cat city of St. Catharines. Enforce the bad actors who aren't following the public health regulations and allow those who are actually creating a very safe environment for people to go out and, and experience a, a, a food uh, a dining experience, allow them to be able to do that. So these are unsteady times. It's having an impact on a lot of people. I understand that. And to the restaurant industry, for those of us who can, can do it, order your food, go out and support your restaurant industry. Uh, They're an important contributor to our economy. And speaking of weather, we had a significant weather event this weekend. On Sunday, we saw the, the, the high winds come through our region, had a lot of damage and impact on trees and, and structures here 
in our community. I just want to say thank you to our STC team, our forestry crew. They were out, they worked all night and they were working with Electra to try and make sure the power got back on. So I want to thank the Electra team for all of their work. Uh, it just, just really does highlight the impact of climate change. We haven't seen winds like that uh, forever. They, we had some record, record breaking winds. So something we've got to keep our eye on and make sure that we're helping to push back at climate change as well. I just want to, some good news, we have the, our, our, the Canadian Culture Days rankings came out. St. Catharines was number one for the cities of its size. So congratulations to our culture team here at the City of St. Catharines for all that they did to put together Culture Days. And it's an opportunity for the creative arts and for our culture to be celebrated and it was held throughout October. And I just want to say again, congratulations to the team. They did an outstanding job. As well, I just want to say uh, we did the groundbreaking for the rowing center at the Henley Regatta as part of the Canada Summer Games 2022. Thanks to Doug Hamilton and his team for putting it all together and for Bill Shank and the Henley Rowing Corporation for taking the leadership role on the creation of what is going to be a world-class facility right here in St. Catharines. It's going to be ready for the Canada 2022 and it's going to be for the 2024 World Rowing Championships as well. So a lot of great events coming up as we come out of COVID and that groundbreaking is just one symbol of uh, great times ahead. As well, I just want to say congratulations to Indian Aroma Kitchen, Ravi and Kamimi, who have done an outstanding job creating a wonderful dining, di takeout dining experience of Indian foods and they're authentic and they're made all on premise and so now you don't want to miss out that opportunity and that's over in North End St. Catharines. As well, the National Association of Estheticians opened up here in St. Catharines to Marissa and Kaylee, two young entrepreneurs who saw an opportunity, created this, created this national association for people to take courses in ethnetician and, and work around ethneticians and it's a great opportunity for young people and it's a great example of entrepreneurship and the next generation of entrepreneurs and what they're creating here in our community as well Positive Living has a flag raising coming up on November 23rd. It's in recognition of Canadian HIV and AIDS Awareness Week. And you're gonna see red, flag, red, red scarves placed around the downtown area, and that's what it stands for. I'd like to thank Positive Living for their efforts in raising awareness, providing support for people affected by HIV and AIDS. And it's a way to remove the stigma often around this. And so it's a great opportunity for us as a community to support as well. We also have Winter in the Market, which is kicked off. And it's Thursdays, it takes place Thursdays from 3 to 7 p.m. Down Downtown at Market Square, and it's filled with artisanal vendors, uh, one of a kind items that you can come in and check out. So, if you've got some unique items or you want some new unique idea ideas for your holiday list coming up, check out the, the winter market. You won't be disappointed. Plenty of parking downtown. Head on in, and it's all being done in a safe way. Uh, we've got limited spacing, uh, so you've got spacing between the vendors, and you know we, we've got the, the the sanitization areas where you can wash your hands. So it's all being done. But remember, you got to wear your mask to come into the market. So with that, as I talked uh, as I talked about at the beginning of the mayor's report. We got a lot of work to do. We got to do this together and we've got to make sure that we're not leaving anybody behind. So our goal is to make sure that our community is being protected from COVID-19. And at the same time, we're, we're, we're looking after one another. So it's about doing things with a clear head, clean hands and an open heart as Mayor Nenshi from Calgary has stated so many times. We just got to do things as a community. If we do that, We'll continue to, 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 to win. Uh, we've done it before. The first wave, we drove the numbers down. The second wave, let's drive these numbers down. And like I said last week, I wanna have a green Christmas. And by that, I mean, let's get back to the green category where the economy is open, people are able to largely move about, and the virus is reduced down to almost nothing in our community. We can get there, but it's gonna take all of us. So until the next mayor's report, which will be coming up in a few short weeks, I hope you have a wonderful November. It is becoming winter, so prepare yourself accordingly, but at the same time, get out and get some fresh air. Opportunities to be physically active in the winter is just as important as being physically active in the summertime. So find ways that you can get out and experience our community. It's an amazing place to, to live no matter the season. Take care.